how do you change the perception, not from the person inside the corporation, but from the shareholders on the outside? Um, how do you do that? Tom, what, what, do you, what are your thoughts about that? Well, I think in the end, it's a, it's a, it's a shift that's uh, almost generational. It, it's deep, and, and because I'm an educator, I think a lot of it has to do with what we teach the leaders uh, who are, are, are going to be uh, manning the tiller. Uh, Lynn, I, I don't want to beat you up, but I, I mean, it seems to Go me ahead. You're, Go ahead. you're part of the problem here. Because I just heard you say, I want to be, I'm an academic, I want to be tough-minded. I don't want to talk about values. Mm -hmm. And I can't tell you how prevalent that view uh, is. is. How did we get into this situation? Uh, those of us who try to teach and create theories about business, we invented a beautiful hammer, a beautiful, powerful hammer. Analysis of data, the hypothetical deductive model, the testing of hypotheses, the tough-minded stuff. The problem with this, and it's very powerful, is it doesn't do very well at understanding purpose because purpose is not something you study out in the world. It's something as a leader you create. And so to use the old saw, uh, when the only thing you have is a hammer, everything starts looking like a nail. Yeah. 